Hello everyone and welcome back again to On How Channel. My name is Anas. I'm working for you. So if you have any questions or any request, make sure to drop a below in the comment or check out my Instagram right here below me. I don't reply to each comment and if you are wondering why is that because simply I'm working for you. And in this video, I will show you how to add video background banner to your Shopify store and it will be automatically playing and it will be muted, doesn't have any sound obviously and it will be text overlying over it just like you see on the screen right now because this is actually the example for the thing that I'm going to show you right now. So the video will keep repeating itself just like this and it's actually a banner, not a video or anything like that. It's actually banner for your Shopify store. So just like this, you will be either the title for your Shopify store or a brand name or whatever and a small description like this that you can edit and do whatever you want to it. You can even remove it, including the title as well. And we will edit a little bit of code in this video, but no worries, nothing complicated in here. I will provide you with everything you need in this video, including my support actually as I said in the beginning of the video I'm working for you so I will provide you with the call that you need in order to have this banner like this and actually I will show you a fix for this because there is an issue actually with this banner right here so for example if we did right click and inspect and change the page into the mobile version for example as you can see we did select in here uh, iPhone uh, 12 Pro so as you can see the text and the title it's gone so there is no more text on the video as you can see the text which is the description as well as the title that was on top of the video on the home page it was dragged down here that's why it's not showing up because it's the same as the background which is white so if we close this here is it get back right here so I will show you actually how to fix this issue. So we will add the banner with the video on it and we will edit the title as well as the description on top of the video. And I will show you how to fix this issue whenever a customer access your Shopify store from the mobile, they will actually see the title as well as the description on top of the video. Not like this, as you can see, the title is gone as well as the description is gone and without any more talking let's just get to it and show you how to add the video background banner to your Shopify store so let's just head over to Shopify dashboard as you can see so the first thing we need to do in order to have the widget to be able to add it to our Shopify store from the team customizer we need to add that section first and to do so simply click on online store right here and you will not click on customize button you will click on these three dots right here and you will click on edit call as you can see so click on it it will take you to this page and you will see all the uh, liquid files and the json files on your shopify store and as i said we need to add the section because it doesn't exist yet and to do so there is a section here or a folder it's called sections simply click on it and after that click on add new section right here simply click on it and keep it as liquid right here do not select json Keep it as liquid and let's just name it a background video because we need to add the background video banner to our Shopify store. So let's just type in background and a dash uh, video. Make sure you do not include space in here. So whatever you need to include space in naming files whenever you want to add something to the code, make sure to include a dash instead of a space. So I would advise you to keep it just like I name it in here background dash video. And after that, click on done and automatically uh, Shopify will create some code in here. However, we do not need this. So just remove all the code that was created automatically, simply remove it. And after that, scroll down description box and you will see a link and simply click on it and it will take you to this page right here for the past bin. And this is the code that you need to copy. So let's just copy this code right here simply select it from the up and let's just get down to select all the code in here it will take a couple of seconds come on faster faster come on all right so just at the end as you can see it says end schema at the end and it should be uh, the line the end line should be 850 line so simply right click and let's just copy it after that let's just get back in here and let's just paste it on the background video dot liquid so simply let's just pass the call and after that let's just click on save button right here simply click on save and right now the asset has been saved and we did add the section which is the background video banner on our shopify store right now we need to add it to our home page and we will do that simply let's just get back in here let's just click on online store from here and let's just click on james and click on customize and after that Click on add section right here at the bottom of the page. Simply click on it and you will see some options. Click on show more 
and it will show you the other options in here and here is video background and this is the section that we did add right now if you did access here without adding the code and all the things that we did right now you will not find this uh, section or option simply click on video background right here and it will be added right here after that click on video slide right here below the video background section and after that you will see this prompt right here and it will give you the option to paste in the video link as well the cover image and as i said you can actually edit the text the heading for the video and description as well and we do not have the video yet as i said we will not use youtube or any third party video hosting website so let's just get back to our shopify dashboard because we need to upload the video and we do not have the video yet so let's just click on content right here simply click on content after that files and let's just upload the video which is in my case i will add this uh, video intro that you saw before uh, i mean when i you click it on my video so i will upload that and i will use that as a test or as a example for demonstration so it will take a couple of seconds in order to upload the video and here is the video has been uploaded successfully and it should be right here here is the video so right now we need to copy the link simply to copy the link click on the button right here which says link simply click on it and here is we copy the link let's just get back to the team customizer and let's just paste in the link in here and after that it will show you the link on top make sure to click on it simply click on it and it should show up right here and here is as you can see the video is already playing and have the video slide which is the title as well as the description so let's just change this to subscribe please or just do not subscribe actually just a like please <laughs> so if this video helped you out help me out pressing that like button i would really appreciate it it's completely free and it will motivate me and make me happy for the rest of the day so it's a win-win situation right and the description in my case i do not have anything to write in here so i'm gonna keep it like this and you can actually for example text right here you can make it bold like this it will be like stronger as you can see in the i hope you can see it it's stronger right now not like uh, the other text in here and as well as the text color you can change the text color for example if the background of the video or the video itself has a lighter color then the text on the banner will not show up because obviously it will be just like the background for the video so in that case you can change the text and select darker color black for example and it will show up much much better and you can add a button for example if you want a button right here and you can paste in a link for the button for either products or products page or whatever you want as you can see if i clicked on the best link it does show me uh, options collection or pages if i click on pages it will show me all the pages that i have in my shopify store and i can link any shopify page on my shopify store to the button right here but in my case i'm not going to add that so i'm going to keep it without a button and the same as the background color for the button as well as the text for the button and the cover image however uh, just like see the video is keeps repeating and it's a loop uh, you don't actually need a cover image so let's just click on save button and let's just check the shopify store to see if it's actually working or not so let's just check our shopify store from here and it doesn't oh i forgot it's actually down here there it is so i forgot actually to drag it up so let's just click on the dots right here for front of the video background and let's just drag it up and place it above the banner right here and let's just click on save now and just get back to the store and reload the page and it should show up right here let's just reload the page again and it doesn't and here it is so i had to delete the cache from the actually from shopify store in order to show me the new version because it was the cache in an older version that doesn't have the banner video and here it is as you can see it's working fine and it's not at the bottom of the page anymore so it's at the top of the page where exactly we want it however if you notice in the beginning of the video i said there is a actually an issue with this let's just right click and click on inspect for the mobile version the text will disappear as you can see there is no more text on top of the video so how we can fix that because as i mentioned in the video yes i will show you how to fix that because i'm simply working for you so if this video helped you out help me up pressing that like button i would really appreciate it so let's just get back 
to our dashboard and let's just fix the issue which is the text does not show up on top of the picture when you access the Shopify store from the mobile. In order to do that we need to get back to the code editor. So click on online store and after that click on the three dots right here and click on edit code. And after that right now you need to head over to the folder it says assets right here. Uh, you will find that at the bottom of the screen. Simply click on assets, click it does not want to show me the assets here we go so click on assets folder right here after that click on the first file which is base uh, base.css so click on base.css so all you need to do right now is just scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page let's just drag this down here we go and after that at the bottom of the file right here click on the bottom the last line below the all the text and everything else and paste in this code and you might be wondering where the hell I'm gonna find this code. No worries. As always, in the description box, you will find two links. The first one where we're gonna add the section for the background video and the second one should be named fix. So find the link that says fix and access it and you will see this code right here. Simply copy it and paste it in here. This is all the code here you need to paste in. It's really short, not like the other one. And after that, click on save right here. And this code will actually fix the issue of the mobile version of the website when you access it from the mobile, from the iPhone or Android, or whatever the case is. And let's just get back to our Shopify store and check if that actually did fix the problem or not. So let's just access our Shopify store. And this is the banner video that we did add and the text, like please as always. So like please. And let's just right click and click on inspect. And the mobile, here is, as you can see, we did access iPhone 12. And let's just reload the page just to make sure. And here is, as you can see, the text in here. And it's all working just fine. As well as actually we did select text as the as bold and here is it's stronger than the other text and that's how you add video background banner to your shopify store without using any apps or anything like that stand alone by using your own code and it's fully customizable you can either add the text over it or remove the text or even add a button as i showed you and as i said in the beginning of the video i'm working for you so if you have any questions any video requests make sure to drop them below in the comment or check out my instagram right here below me I don't reply to each comment if you are wondering again why is that because simply I'm working for you. Otherwise I think my job is done for this video so thanks for watching catch you on the next one.